Hello, Buzzacals! Welcome back to Beltless Factorio. Uh, last time we designed this rail crossing, and today we have to see about creating some stations and more importantly uh, stations uh, where we can smell things uh, but also um, basically our minor array and how we get things into a train so Station goes in that way. And that's how we want to have it. And then let's see. We need three space for three carriages so we can have it there then um, we're coming in from this side that means when going out we want to have a signal and before going in we want to have a signal Right, and that's basically it for the for the loader or for the unloader. And what we want to do here is. we want to create something like this then we can have the same thing on the other side because now um, if we yeah let's Let's try to come up with, with a setup that that works. Um, if we have these two by two furnaces, um, then we only need um, half the amount here. So what we can do is we pull this out here and then chuck that over to there and this one we move to here so that means these go up there we can have them here And like that. And then basically we can have the same setup on the other side. And I just no. Can I copy this 
Rotate it. Yes. That helps with placement. And I need a few more chests, uh, furnaces. Uh, actually, we can have that here directly. And here as well. No need to have intermediary chests. Now the question is, how do we get things out? And here, and here I suppose. Here we can do it that way. And here we need a long one. Here we need to do it that way. Right. And then we need to basically bring it back together again. So let me collect a few more resources so I can uh, uh, finish uh, that set up here and uh, then we will see how we can get the resources back together so uh, the smelted things can be loaded. A few chests later and also some inserters we have something. Hopefully, because this will be the, the loader. So if we, haha, <laughs> we need to move that a bit. Um, Actually, we can do it that way and thereby gain the space that we need. So, right there. And that's the the loading and that's uh, that's concrete so where do we go yeah let's do fluid wagons that should then basically complete rail research um, aside from um, where was it breaking force so now the question is what do we do with the uh, auto side and one idea would be to then basically have another loading station 
on that side because getting the output from here uh, back here in those chests that might be uh, tricky uh, we could we could do it but then probably not all chests are equally uh, uh, loaded so let's just do that rotate the whole thing um, and try again right this one we don't need and then we have another one going here out fine so then let's let's make a blueprint out of that that is smelting um, and probably once we have electric furnaces we will have to uh, uh, do the setup different um, uh, or smelting right and then Let's remove all this. So that I can take a clean blueprint of the station here. Because we will need that for different kinds of uh, things. And as you can see, without belts, we are using quite a bit of, uh, of chests, right? So now we need to have this port here. With the light there, with the signal there, um, there we probably want that in there, and maybe also the the signal. Um, train station. Okay, and we will put that in the book. We will put that in the book. Great. So now all we have to figure out how do we get the, the thing into the ores from the miners into our wagons. So let's head over to the iron patch down there after I deal with um, things here in the base and then we will see 
how we can manage that there. Now, one option would of course be to run the, the line directly through the patch and then try to load the train uh, with these here. However, I think that's quite ineffective uh, because we could only have four miners per train. So instead we shall see uh, how we can do this. We will have to mine into a chest and then move that forward which means we will have a setup with uh, one space in between and later we can uh, replace these uh, inserters with better uh, with better inserters so in essence this will be our mining mining array. Um, that means we will have station somewhere here. Yes. And we will right here. We will have the loading system. Oh, these need to be right next to it because we need this uh, pattern here so that we can uh, more efficiently load the thing. And with this set up we can basically then have it that way. Which would mean we have this coming out this way and that's two in between that's not good maybe it is we shall see yeah that does not work so we have to probably have a setup here on this side which allows uh, to have staggered input. So basically we would then have
this right up to right next to there. And let's leave that uh, like that. And then there we can go that way. finish placing some chests and uh, inserters and then we should see how this uh, this comes together this now is fully planned out and as you can see up here i have actually run out of the uh, the iron field so the mining area is quite wide, but I think uh, we do not have to make it uh, uh, too deep uh, because otherwise uh, these chests would become full and the inserters would not be able to move everything forward. Um, however, I mean, once we have basically mined everything here, we can move everything back and uh, just have a longer line of uh, chests there. So let me also make a copy of this one. This is a mining station. Right, and then we shall basically destroy all this and I cannot wait until I have robots, construction robots that is, because then all these blueprints they will come in real handy, but until such time we have to place everything by hand and that's actually what we will do next time. Next time we will lay down the rail system, uh, connect up this, uh, this iron patch here uh, and uh, have hopefully also a smelting area going for iron and copper will then be next so that we can uh, progress towards uh, automated uh, science packs uh, not the uh, uh, the crappy thing that we are doing here now and uh, i mean for the smelting uh, I plan to supply it, uh, at least in the beginning, manually with, uh, with coal because the setup that we have planned out uh, only allows one uh, train to go in there and uh, that's just not good enough but we will see but for now that has it been 
Uh, wish you a pleasant day and hope to see you soon again with more Beltless Factorio. Until then, goodbye!